Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a certified personal trainer and I share all things health, fitness, and my lifestyle on here, on Instagram, and on TikTok. So make sure you're subscribed and follow along. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be taking you guys through a morning in my life while I chat about all of my favorite features on my Garmin Venue 3. I recently switched from the Garmin Venue 2 to the Garmin Venue 3, mainly just because I wanted to test out a lot of the new fun features. And I've been getting so many questions about the latest version and I will be filming like a full review and like comparison video in the next few weeks but I figured I may as well just go about my morning and talk about my personal favorite features that I use on a daily basis so as you guys know I made the switch from Apple to Garmin a long time ago now at this point and one of the main like motivating factors for me making the switch was the battery life the battery life on the Garmin Venue 2 and also on this Garmin Venue 3, I've only been wearing this for like two weeks, lasts me like seven to 10 days on a full charge, which is incredible. I do keep all my notifications off, so maybe that helps. I personally don't like getting notifications to my wrist. Maybe that's just me. That's kind of like the point of a smartwatch but I don't like getting them, so I keep them off. I track my workouts, I track my sleep, and I'll be chatting about all these things as the day goes on, but there are so many things I use this for, and notifications just aren't something that I want. But the battery life was a huge seller, and I am so incredibly impressed, so I just wanted to mention that. As I briefly just touched on, the sleep tracking was another one of the main factors for making the switch from Apple to Garmin, and who knows, maybe Apple Watches can track your sleep nowadays, Mine couldn't and it would die by like lunchtime each day, so it was always charging at night. But getting on the Garmin Connect app and checking my sleep score is one of my favorite things to do each morning. Maybe I'm weird. I think it is so fascinating and just like fun to look at and you learn a lot about yourself. So let's take a look at last night's sleep score. I scored an 82 out of 100. It said I had good quality sleep. I slept for seven hours and 20 minutes. It said I had long and continuous sleep, which is wonderful says your activity yesterday was great for your sleep quality. Being active early in the day, especially outdoors, tunes your body clock and helps you sleep more deeply. A plus Julia for your daily outdoor walks in the morning. And then within this little sleep score section, you can also look at all of the factors that impact your sleep score, like the duration of your sleep, your stress levels while you were sleeping, your deep sleep, light sleep, REM sleep, and then also your awake slash restlessness. You can look through the stages and see how long you were in deep sleep, light sleep, REM sleep, or awake. You can also pan through like a timeline throughout the night. And then there are also more sleep metrics like your restless moments, your resting heart rate while you were sleeping, how much your body battery charged while you were sleeping, average respiration. There's just so much data that this thing collects. And I think it's so fascinating. But anyway, as you guys saw, I had my pre-workout peanut butter and honey toast, my coffee, let's not even talk about the frother situation this morning, drank some water, read some of my book, and I'm actually on my second load of laundry, but my puppy is starting to cry because it is her breakfast time. So next on the agenda is to feed her, walk her, and then I'll get into my workout. Hi! <laughs> Yummy breakfast. Alright, I just changed into a rain jacket because apparently it's about to start raining any second. I just finished up with Scotty's quick little morning walk and now it is time for my daily three, which I always track on my Garmin, as you guys probably see on my Instagram stories each morning, but the Garmin's go based off GPS and I find them to be very accurate which I appreciate but anyway let's get in to my daily three all right daily three done here are a few other metrics that the watch tracks as I walk but I am completely soaked after that. That rain jacket did not help me at all. You can't really tell, my sports bra soaked, my shorts are soaked. I literally had like water squishing between my toes every step of that walk. But daily three is done nonetheless, and now it is time for today's quad and glute lift. So let's get into that and I'll show you guys how I track my lifts on my watch because there are a few different ways that you can do it. So whenever I go to start a lift, I just hit this top right button and then I scroll down to strengths. 
and hit this button again to start the workout whenever I actually start. And as I mentioned, there are a few different ways to track the strength workouts. So the Garmin watches actually come with the rep count setting turned on. I actually turn that setting off because I don't wanna be clicking like start and stop each time I start a set in my workout. I like to just start the workout, get my warm up in, my active stretches, my banded glute activation, my lift, and my cool down and just have it all encompassed into one rather than breaking up my workouts set by set on my watch. But if you're someone who wants to break them up set by set, wants your watch to count your reps, that is an option as well. I just don't wanna be clicking it constantly, but a lot of my friends do use that setting and they love it. All right, enough chit chat. It is time to actually start this workout. I am gonna track it on my watch, so I'll show you guys everything afterwards, but it is week 10, day four of my 12 week shred program. If you didn't know, shred is actually the program I created for myself to get wedding ready and like achieve my goal wedding physique. It was so incredibly successful, so I decided to make the program available to you guys on January first so I started the program over on January 1st but not in a calorie deficit this time around because that just wouldn't be healthy to be in that long of a calorie deficit since my wedding was just in December I just finished it the first time around mid-December jumped back into a January one so I'm just chilling at maintenance as I'm going through it this time but I love this program so much and you guys are loving it too and I also created an at-home version of it called shred at home that is completely dumbbell only so if you're looking for an at-home program for a gym based program look no further my app literally has it all and i have so many more workouts and programs coming soon Leg day done. I'm really sorry if you can hear the leaf blower. It has been on my entire workout, so we're just gonna hope for the best. But leg day complete, that took one hour and five minutes. And then like I mentioned earlier, I don't have it track my reps and sets. So whenever I'm done with a lift, it always just says I did one set and zero rest time taken. Obviously that's not the case. I did four sets of exercises one, two, and three, and then three rounds through that super set at the end followed by a 15 minute incline walk. And of course I rested between my sets, but like I said, I just wanna hit the button once when I start, once when I'm done and call it a day. If you do want it to track every single rep and every single set, all your rest time, work time, like more accurately, you can definitely keep that setting on. I just prefer to keep it off. But within the Garmin Connect app, you can also look at all of your other stats. There's a little workout overview and then a stats section, a chart section. You can even link gear. So say if I were tracking all of my runs, I could link a pair of running shoes to them. And then every time I run in those shoes, it would add up my mileage. So I would know when to switch out my shoes. Like I know a lot of runners love that feature. So I felt like that was worth mentioning, but the stats are just so cool. Like it gets your heart rate throughout the entire thing, resting calories burned, active calories, total calories, also your estimated sweat loss. Like I just think that is so cool. And once again, there's probably some degree of inaccuracy, but it's still just so fascinating. Also, if you saw these paint swatches on the wall, these are my color options. We're planning on renovating the gym and this wall and this wall are both gonna be a dark color. Back wall is gonna stay white, but we're gonna, we're gonna do something about this. We have a plan 
and I can't wait for it to happen. But yeah, let me know which paint color you like the best. They're all pretty similar, but they also look completely different in different lighting. So I need to get actual samples and like paint them on the wall. Anyway, I keep getting sidetracked, so I need to stop chatting, go in, chug a Fairlife protein shake, and shower because I'm drenched in sweat. And if anyone was wondering, yes, the Garmin watches are pretty darn water resistant. I always wear mine in the shower, especially post-workout to help like wash and rinse away all of the sweat. But both this one and my Venue 2, I've worn in the pool, I've worn in the ocean, and they've held up just fine. Feta eggs in the making. If you know, you know. They are so freaking good. Sourdough on the bottom, then bacon, then feta eggs. And Scotty's very excited about them. Hey! They're for mom. I'm sorry. You'll get your lunch soon. All right, clearly just hopped out of the shower. I also just finished up my first Stanley of the day. You guys are actually resting on it. I'm using it as a tripod right now. But that brings me to one of my newly favorite features on the watch, which is hydration tracking. My Venue 2 had this feature as well, but I honestly never used it because hydration really wasn't an issue for me until we got a puppy. And now I'm just always forgetting to actually drink water. So being able to track it right on my wrist has been so helpful because I don't always have my phone on me and I'm always forgetting how many bottles or cups I've drank. So having it here just really comes in clutch. I can swipe right up, scroll down to hydration, and then add how many cups of water I've had. The Stanley is 40 ounces, 40 divided by eight, is five, so five cups for the day so far. All right, the last thing I wanna to touch on before wrapping this video up, because my morning is over, it is noon, and I will be glued to this computer working for the next like six to eight hours, but I wanna to touch on steps, because I get so many questions about how many steps I average per day, what my step goal is, and yes, my Garmin tracks my steps, but in all honesty, I never even really pay attention to it. Like. I'm not worried about hitting a certain step goal. I don't even have a step goal that I set for myself because I know I'm gonna be pretty darn active throughout the day. I don't stress about hitting a certain number. Some days are more active than others. Some days I get a crazy high number of steps just because I had a lot going on. Other days I get like barely any steps, like not even 10K. It really just depends. But you can set your own goals for a lot of the metrics within the Garmin or you can have the Garmin set them based on an average of the previous seven days. And that's what I do. I just have it set the goals. They kind of adjust as the weeks go on. They change here and there. Some days they're higher, some days they're lower. It just depends on how active you were those previous seven days. So I kind of like that with the fluctuations. I really am never concerned about hitting them. I really never have like hit goal streaks because like I said, I really don't even pay attention to them but the Garmin does track my steps. So let's take a look at my steps for the day. They probably won't change much just because like I said, I will be on my computer the remainder of the day. I'll take Scotty on a little loop around the neighborhood later. So if anything, I'd say I get one to 2000 more, but as of right now, you guys saw I did my daily three, walked for my warm up, walked for my cool down, and I am currently at 13,268 steps for the day. The goal that my Garmin set for me based on my previous seven day average is 17,610. I must have been very active, lots of steps last week, so we'll see if I get to that, maybe if I'm chasing around Scotty a lot later today, but that is today's total as of right now at noon. And then another thing that kind of goes along with the steps is looking at the weekly leaderboard. The weekly leaderboard actually has like stats for steps, running, cycling, swimming, pushes and parasports. I've never even seen pushes and parasports. Those must be new, but you can compare your results to all of your friends that you're connected with. I'm connected with three of my friends. I like looking at the steps one because I'm always in first place. So for the week, my running total on steps so far is 66,400. The friend of mine in second is at 30,569. Third place is 26,867. And then fourth place right now is 22,140. Of course, those change from day to day because it totals up the entire week. And I believe the Garmin week starts on Monday, if I'm remembering correctly. So that goes from Monday to today, which is Thursday. So there'll be three more days of data to add to it. And then we will see who's actually in first place. But more than likely, it'll be me. I'm typically, typically number one when it comes to steps. 
Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up here because like I said, it is noon, my morning is over, I need to get on with my day, fold my laundry, get some work done, feed Scotty Girl her lunch, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And like I mentioned earlier, you can expect a full Apple versus Garmin Venue 2, Venue 3 review comparison video. I wanna make it really in depth and explain all of the facts and features like in detail so it can be as helpful as possible. So look forward to that coming in the next few weeks, probably sometime in April if I had to guess. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.